I believe Tomac has the fastest motorcycle out of all the factory bikes for Supercross. Watch this start. We've got one Star Yamaha. We got another Star Yamaha. And the third Star Yamaha is right next to the box. So it's going to go overhead. Here he is. Watch as the gate drops. Boom. He doesn't get the best jump. But he sure hauls freaking butt and gains like two bike lengths on everybody here. So we will slow this down. Gate drops. Tomac starts losing a little bit to Hunter and Jet. And then he shifts to third. And look at that. Where Hunter starts doing the freeze thing where he's trying to cut everybody off. Tomac is just power to the ground, hauling freaking butt and gets to the first turn first. But you got Jet diving on underneath him because he's got eyes on the back of his head because he arguably should have had the whole shot because of his start here. He was a front wheel in front of everybody. He should have been able to move over and pinch Tomac and everyone off. But that star Yamaha freaking hit the horsepower and the NOS button. And Tomac ended up diving real deep into the first corner and Jet was able to sneak underneath him. But we just have to say, how fast is that star Yamaha? Wow. And just because I'm going to continue to talk about freaking Jet Lawrence. He's the guy to beat right now. And this is part of the reason why he's the guy to beat. So if you didn't catch it here, I'm going to slow it down. Does this massive quad. Yes, that's a quad because here's a lip. Here's another lip. Here's the third. And then the fourth one. Yeah, we can argue about it all we want, but it's a quad. Look at him. As he's coming to this next triple, look at that BMX soak up, jumps over the triple, and then watch him soak it up again and scrub, where he's literally scrubbing through the rhythm section where a lot of the guys were just trying to get over the jumps. Watch that in real time. Pay attention to the scrub. Just real quick. And that is part of the reason as to why he just inches away from guys is because he's accelerating and staying lower, getting back on the ground faster, where the other guys are just stuck in the air. I also want to highlight Jason Anderson with this line right here. We'll go a little bit more in depth where a lot of the riders are staying in these deep ruts, slowing down. And look at Jason. As he comes off the triple, he breaks early. And then he starts accelerating and pivoting to make this next section into an outside in type road racing line. Not to mention, watch what he does is he'll go double and triple. That's the same line that killed Seth because a swole ran into him. But watch Jason Anderson, and this was the pass against Tomac, how he's able to land. And how in the world was he able to land and stay in that sand rut? to get around Tomac. He would have tattooed Tomac just like swole to Seth if he wasn't able to land and stay in that. Look at how fast he is here. Let's watch that in real time. Look at how fast he jumps into this corner. Whoa, Tomac is incredibly surprised because Tomac was getting ready to use this line to go to the inside. But Jason was there and just took it away. Here, I need to zoom out. And just a little bit, and we'll watch another lap of Jason making this look clean. Simple to the inside, triple. This time he's going to go wild. For anybody riding dirt bikes, we tend to sweat and we use Gatorade and we're trying to get all the unnecessary carbohydrates because of what we lose during sweat. Well, Coach Rob has a new performance bundle that is a sweat analysis. So after you take this, you will know what type of sports drinks you need. And he's got a full-blown lineup from small duration to long durations formula that is integrated specifically for for you. So make sure you head over to CompleteRacingSolutions.com to check out the new sweat analysis profile. And it's always fun to compare. So let's just compare Jet once again out front where he's going to triple double. But just watch how light he is on the bike. Just rolls, soaks up, and he just, it almost looks like he's in fast forward with how just smooth he is. And there's no bumps.
the nicest line that I saw through the whoops was Deegan, where he's behind Seth here. He's going to go double, then triple, then triple, triple, and double again. Impressive, but yes, maybe next year we can get rid of these freaking nine whoops. The last thing is what is on these 100% goggles? Is this a, a maxi pad? I, I, I can't think of anything else that Cooper's got because it looks like it's aftermarket. If, if I'm completely wrong, if 100% actually sells foam like this that is on these type of goggles, may, then I'm absolutely left field here but to me this looks like a maxi pad that is going to soak up some sweat for cooper webb until next time make sure you stay tuned for the new show this week Bra -da -da -da.